Hey everyone, with the wildfires in Canada burning and blowing all their smoke down to America and uh, just pollution in general with the heat mixing together being pretty horrible nowadays, I was curious about replacing my cabin filters with some HEPA filters and I figured, you know what, let's run a little scient somewhat scientific experiment and uh, let's see if it actually, you know, the old filters versus the new filters versus, you know, just the, the general uh, 67 AQI, which is not, not horrible but not great. It's definitely in the uh, fair category, I believe. Uh, but we're going to run some experiments here and we're going to see what uh, the base filters and uh, some new somewhat expensive HEPA filters can do compared to each other. I've been driving around with this thing in the car recently. I got to say I'm kind of impressed with my old, uh, probably two or three years old at this point, uh, uh, filters, just basic ones that Tesla includes. They're probably disgusting right now. But uh, let's go do some experiments and uh, we'll see how it compares to some new HEPA stuff. All right, for this experiment, we're going to set the air conditioning to, I believe Elon Musk actually tweeted once and said to manually set it to five, set it to recirculate, and uh, let it run. So we should see this start to drop. Actually, we already have a little bit. It was uh, 67 up to 70 or so. So uh, uh, methodology, I'm gonna let it run for about five minutes um, to be kind of accurate to uh, reality. I'm going to sit in the car while it runs also, so I can be polluting the air with my uh, my exhaust. <laughs> um, so yeah, look at that, it's dropping 50. Oh, it's going pretty fast. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna let this run for about five minutes, and then I'm gonna toss these new uh, fancy HEPA filters with uh, activated charcoal that doesn't entirely uh, cover the, the uh, little honeycomb exhaust, which I guess isn't a big deal because the air is gonna repeatedly pass through it as we're on recirculate. Um, yeah, so let's uh, check back in about four minutes. Oh, we're down to 37 already. Pretty cool. All right, it's been five minutes and the air quality is down to 16, which is great. Uh, anything under 50 is good. So that's a, uh, that's a better than 4X improvement in air quality. And this is with the, the old junky filters that have been in this thing for years, really clogged up and disgusting. So let's, uh, let's crack that open. I'll show you how we uh, get to the filters down there in a second here. And we'll slap these uh, Vion HEPA activated carbon cabin air filter things in there. Um, they're just kind of like ripoffs of real quality ones, but they have good reviews. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think that's real true HEPA based on how uh, how clear those uh, those filters are. They're just like regular regular fins. Yeah. Anyways, we'll toss it in and we'll do this test again and see if we can beat uh, 16 AQI. It is uh, about 2 p.m. and it's. Uh, it's pretty hot out, and yeah, the air quality is supposed to be uh, 60 or 70, which apparently oh, oh, went down to 12 as I was talking. Maybe I need to do 10 minutes instead of 5 minutes. You know what? I'm going to let this go all the way to 10 minutes. All right, we're about uh, 7, 8 minutes in, and it actually went up <laughs> up to 16. So I think we're going to call it at the best we saw, which was 12. Um, I'm sure there's lots of little variables here. You know, me breathing in here and talking probably, you know, maybe it uh, brought up enough... Uh, enough uh, Articulates to, uh, to bring it up to 16. So, best we saw was 12. Uh, let me go ahead and throw this thing back outside so we can get uh, get a baseline again and uh, show you how we throw these things in there. All right, we are directly underneath the glove box. This is the glove box here. Following it back, this is underneath it. So there are three or four of these little pull tabs here. We're just gonna go ahead and pry them on out. It's the uh, right side. There we go. And let me turn this around. So this is the panel that just pulled out from below the dashboard. Dashboard up here. I'm sorry, below the uh, glove box. So there's two connectors, one for a light there, one for the speaker over there. I'm supposed to pop them out, but I don't know. I think we can get to, to the filters over on that side without any more changes here. That's kind of gross. All right, it's hard to do this one-handed, but um, you basically just start at the top, pull out, and then unclip as you go. It shouldn't take a whole lot of force. Don't be scared. The popping noise is just these things coming out. All right, we are basically there. Uh, behind this orange wire, this here is where the filter stays. So we're going to uh, try and carefully move it aside so we can open up the uh, the filter trays. 
it's 105 with heat index it's a uh, 90 98 right now it's just a uh, regular temp and let me show you where the screw is I'm trying to get to right now because I've got everything but this one last little bit before I can pull out the filters you got to see this this is this is why I change the filters every three years <laughs> okay we go down here we crawl on our hands and knees and then we go up right there which it means it's back out so you can see what we're working with here it's way up in there and that's that's what holds the actual filters in the pain of my existence right here oh my gosh let's get these filters out all right disgusting filter one oh yeah it is amazing, I got the decent results I got with this thing. I don't know if it's showing up on camera very well, but this is, uh, yeah, that, that shows up. That's disgusting. Got the tab out, all right. Oh, there's junk falling out of it. Oh, okay, that's where all the leaves are stored. Okay, that's disgusting. All right, I think I got the lighting set here, so you can see it. I got the first one in, there's this tab right there hanging out. So now we're gonna cram this one in above it. In. We got two tabs to count for easy removal when we change these in three more years. <laughs> so I'm gonna get uh, get this cap back on there, screw this freaking thing back in, and then we can get on with this test. Okay, I got that cursed screw way up in there, put back in, got the wire clip back in. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this back in place, which is a little hard to do one handed, so uh. I'm set the camera down for a second here, and then uh, we'll clip this back in, and we'll uh, we'll get the test going. I got the uh, the AC running now, and it smells nice and actually it smells really clean, like new car clean. That's good. Okay, all right, let me pause the video here, and we'll uh, we'll get the uh, test going again. All right, it's done 54 ready. Got the. It's a, we got the vent set to recirculate, fan set to five, assume temperature setting, not that that should really matter. Oops. And, uh, all right, let's, uh, down to 52. I'm gonna give it 10 minutes or uh, whenever it starts to bottom out and go back up. I'm, uh, sweaty, disgusting, so hopefully that doesn't throw off the test here. Oh, 45, okay, well. Um, I'm curious to see how this goes with that charcoal in there. Maybe it really helps. All right, fast forward, wow. All right, we're gonna fast forward a few minutes. Okay, we're not even a minute in, and uh, it's been dropping like a rock. I should have just kept recording. Uh, yeah, it went down to 12, which is the best the other one ever got to, and it just hit 8. Um, that's pretty crazy. It, the conditions outside have improved by, what, 10 or 15, but, um, okay, these filters are legit. This uh, this just, just dropped like a rock. I've never seen it go so fast down. Uh, all right, so, uh, yeah, we're at uh, 1 minute, 30 seconds. I guess I'll give it uh, a few more minutes in case... I mean, in theory, every circulation that uh, activated charcoal is pulling out a little more, uh, a little more stuff out of the air, and yeah, see if we can get uh, four or something. That's crazy. Always love it when we get a result. I swear to God, I'm not turning off the camera again. It, yeah, it's been down to four. And I think this also this, uh, yeah, PM 2.5. <laughs> it's at a one. Um, inside my house, with uh, what am I, Merv 13 or something? I put some crazy filters in my house, and I run it for a while. I get down to like two or four. Uh, I've never seen it go this low. AQI of four. Yeah, okay, went back up because I'm moving around. Um, yeah, so we're, we're two minutes in and this thing has dropped to uh, pretty insanely good. So, okay, I, I was skeptical, you know, the, uh, the, the activated charcoal didn't really fill up the honeycombs and I thought, you know, maybe it wasn't gonna be actually doing anything, but um, yeah, the, the quality of air dropped faster than the other one. And yeah, it's almost staying at a four AQI, which is insane, even if it's 50, 54, 58, whatever it was outside. Um, all right, I'm gonna go the whole 10. Maybe we can get to two. I don't know, it seems like it's having a problem holding four. 
but that's nuts. I did not expect a result like this. Okay, it wasn't staying at four. It's doing four to eight bouncing around with me in there. And I suspect it's because I'm sweaty, disgusting, and breathing <laughs> heavily than I should be. Um, I got out, left the same settings, and it's at a solid four. It stopped fluctuating. So, oh, oh, nope, there we go, a little bit up. But it looks like the best we're going to get is a four, which, again, is insane, especially at one PM 2.5. So I'm a believer in these filters, and probably just any clean filter would make a big difference. But, yeah, set it to five, set it to recirculate, have fresh filters, and... My god, it's not bioweapon defense mode, but it's it's the next best thing. I'm a believer. Um, I don't have an affiliate code, but I will put a link to these filters in the description if you want to replace them for your, I believe they work for the Model Y and the Model 3, so they're interchangeable there, interchangeable between those two models. Really, really good air quality. Uh, down, what, uh, 10 or 11X from uh, what it was outside. Uh, I, I'm, I'm certain that if I was driving through, you know, smog or fire, you know, smoke and stuff, that, uh, that that would be perfectly safe inside this cabin set to these settings. So, okay, that's a, that's a great result. I'm glad we got a result. I was afraid they're gonna be the same thing with both, but yep, nope, new filters are great, and the old filters alone make a huge difference. So set it to five and recirculate if, you know, Canada's burning and it's <laughs> making it choke when you're outside, keep your kids safe. The uh, PM 2.5 is very important to keep out of their lungs. It gets in their bloodstream and can stunt development and cause cancer and all kinds of breathing issues, so. Uh, yeah, keep everyone safe, and have a good one. The smallest of the particles that enter the lungs diffuse through the walls of the alveoli into the bloodstream, but they are transported to all organs of the body where they can affect normal function. Critical organs affected include the lungs, immune system, heart, and developing brain. The growth rate of the brain is highest around birth, but development continues throughout childhood and adolescence, playing an important role in a child's memory, attention span, emotional control, and social interaction. Once in a child's still developing brain, articulate matter damages brain cells. The result, impaired cognitive development and ability to learn that may have severe consequences for welfare and earning potential across the lifespan and may accumulate, resulting in neurodegenerative disease later in life.